always want to make your own 3D models printed with your own 3D printer, then stay tuned at Zachary 3D Prints coming up. My name is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to reviews and many cool things about 3D printing. If you are new to this channel and you're not subscribed yet, please consider do so because I got many things that I want to cover on my YouTube channel about 3D printing. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use Thinkercad to make your own 3D models that you can 3D print on your M.3 Pro or different kind of 3D printer. Tinkercad, I used a couple of times. It's a great, great, easy to use 3D printing, 3D designing software. It's web-based, so you don't need to have a program installed on your laptop or on your computer or iMac or which kind of computer you're using. You can use it just with your internet browser and it is a great tool to use. When I first started with Thinkercad, I didn't know where to start exactly. And for this tutorial, I'll show you exactly when you're not used with uh, Thinkercad, then this one is very easy. Um, I don't have a, well, I do have a laptop, but my screenshot, as you are going to see, is going to be recorded with my iPhone. And yes, it's really, it's actually a screen recording <laughs> and not in, from a, a laptop screen recording because my laptop, it's a E3 and it's not handling very well when I'm doing a little bit of video rendering. If you go to one of my other videos about uh, using uh, software, you're going to see that sometimes my audio is not synchronized with my handling. So you see my mouse moving, but nothing <laughs> happens. So I'm sorry for that, but hey, let's get into the video, okay? We are going to go to a new design, create a new design. Then it's going to load. And then you have here your, your work screen. As you can see, the orientation is here up front. I can change it like this. When you click on home, it's going to set on the uh, home setting. And that is how it starts. You have here on the right corner, you have, you can also change your settings. The standard is 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters, as you can see that here. And you can also change it to a bigger size. Well, usually standard 3D printers have a print bed of 200 by 200. And of course, that's 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. You can also change it to 300 or 400, doesn't really matter. But for this, this tutorial, we are going to leave it as this in the ruler. And I put it on just a corner like this here. And as you can see, I just didn't put it right on the very edge. So I can just shift it a little bit down and then there it is. So, and then you have here the, the scale. So this is one centimeter to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so further. And as you can see, I'm having it here three centimeters off the side. So, but that doesn't really matter. If you are going to export it to your slicing software, you can always place your model everywhere you like. So some basics here. So these are the basic shapes of, uh, of Tinkercad. Uh, you've got different kinds of shapes but I think the shapes are talking for itself. So, for example, if you are looking on Thingiverse for something very specific and you cannot find it, 
maybe you should consider making it yourself. Some things that you want to use are, for example, the right measurements. But, for example, a stepper motor housing or something like that, you can easily make with Tinkercad. So, but for example, if you want to make a housing for your electronics, well, I can give you some basic shapes. Well, what do you need? A square, you can add some corners. If you're looking closely, you see that I'm here a little bit off, then I'm just shifting it like that, and now I'm exactly in the right corner. So, for example, our PCB is like 60 by 80, something like this. So now we are, we are going to make this shape. And now we are going to just make the back plate for it. So we are going to use the middle square here and we just press it down. But you can also use this figure here. So for example, this is three millimeters uh let's say like we keep the standard of three millimeters this this can be the back plate maybe it's very thick we are going to make it two millimeters of it so this this is the the back side now we are going to make some little edges around it then we take the cylinder uh, we are making it smaller i'm going to use three millimeters the height and we are going to put it on one side and then we are going to copy it into all the other corners but in this case i'm going to shift it a little bit for the two by two millimeters two by two two by this is the most simple simple form that you can do and then we are going to make it this into yes and now we are going to a new block and uh, we are going to make it two millimeters thin and we have we are going to put it here you can also change the colors uh, we are going to how long was this 80 so we are going to make this also 80 as you can see it's a lid so this one we are going to Copy to the other side, Control C, Control V, and then you see that there is a second one behind it. Be careful with moving it, that you don't take the wrong one. Control C, Control V, now we have a copy of it. Then, when you want to move it or rotate it, take the inner corner for just half the right degree of changing it. This we are going to put here. You can also say, well, I'm going to take the top because I'm started in the corner over there. Here I'm going to use the round circle. This is going to be 60, just like that. Yeah, that's correct. Then Control C, Control V, and we are going to place it on the other side. I think I'm not going, I'm not correct on that. So this is, this is just a square box at this moment. And now we are going to make some round edges around it. We can do like this. Let's see here something, oh, this is not connected. Okay, that makes sense. No, it does. Something like this. And then we are going to make it higher. We have 20. And as you can see, you still got a side here and that needs to be removed. Now I have this round thing here. I can make some adjustments here on the inside, but I'm going to leave it as it is now because we are going also to make some uh, edges in these on the inside so that we can put a top cover on it. So this little piece here, you can keep it there. So now I'm going to make a copy of that one. C, Ctrl V, and you can also take it to there, that side, yeah, something like that. And also on the other side, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. The last one that you have selected, you can use, you, you copy, and there we have the ground box for inside. Of course, you also want to have a, something like a cover over it. So from this shape, we are going to make one model. So we are going to select everything and then we take the group tool and now it's one shape. You can also make some little 
holes in here, but uh, we are going to do that in a little bit later stage. So now we are going to make some edges on the inside. So we take the square again. Now we are going to make a little So now we are, we are going to make some adjustments on the square. So we are going to make this one two in two millimeters. It's still 20 millimeters high and I just changed it to eight. Um, we are going to make it 80 of it. But as you know, the box, the, the inward plate was 80. So we are going to make this 82 so it's a bit longer now we are also going to make a little change here and we are going to make it enter now we have this this shape maybe it could be handy maybe not so now we are going to align it then we are going to put it on the inside of the box so if you pay attention you will see this little arrow here but that we are going to lift it into the air. So we are going to move it on the inside. Well, let's make a different kind of color of it so that we can see what we are doing because that is very much needed. So as you can see, we need to align our two halves. As you can see, my, my beam is a little bit too high. So lower it a little bit to put it more on the side. But you can do what you like when using Tinkercad, this is this is my design. This is a guide how to use Tinkercad. We are going to make some cool things here that you also maybe can upload on my mini factory or thingy first. So I want to have this, the, the lid fits on here, but not that I'm going to put it just there, just on the inside. So for that, we are going to twist it around and we are going to, I'm going, I'm going to move to the middle there, else we are constantly working on the edge. That's not so nice. I see that my ruler is not perfectly aligned. Now it is. We are going to check this part out. It's on the edge. I can change it here a little bit like that. Because we are going to lower this just a tiny bit so that it holds like that just on the inside oh wait i'm going to do something just before i'm going to did i select everything Control c Control v just make an exact copy of it and now i'm going to because there is a reason that i did this just move it a little bit to that side you can also make it a black box if you like yeah that's okay looks fine so now we are going to Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I think we need to have that one. We're just going to move it over there. Like I mentioned, when you're using the arrow here, then you can put it higher and you can just change the place of the little square. Now we are going to make a copy of that one as well. And we are going to change it around. Where is it? Yeah, on the inside, just 90 degrees. Just make it a little bit smaller, just, that it just fits on the inside here. If it is correct, it's the same height and the same length. Well, that's nice. And then we are going to copy that one as well. And we are going to place it on the other side. Just check every corner that it is correct. Lined up against the round like that. There it is, okay. This one goes a little bit to the middle and there, here I also see that it's not correct. There, there, it's not correct. There is, yes, here is also okay. If you would like, you can also use some other corners around it, but the basic thing is that you can put the lid on the other side. So we are going to make a little hole inside of this part here. Then we take the cylinder shape. We are going to make it a little bit less high. Our thickness was two millimeters high. We are going to say like a round hole of 10 by 10. And now we are going to lift it up. You can also see here that you have a height indicator 
how high that you are. All right, seven, let's make it five. Yeah, this, this looks very cool. 27 should be in the middle. Now we're, we are going to put it on there. Looks okay like this. You can also move it around here. And then we say make it more roundish and create hole. So this part we are going to move. And now we are going to select everything. Hey, and if you like this video so far, please hit the thumbs up. It would help my channel, but I'll see you. And we are going to say, well, we group it to one part. And let's say like we are going to do a gray. There you are, a few bucks. I already did make a copy of it to make sure that I have the exact same outer side, outside, outer sides, then this is two centimeters, huh? Don't forget. Let's say like we are going to make this that something like this. So you make some holes in it. Making holes in it is not that difficult. You take the cylinder shape. Let's make a three, no, one by one. It's a very tiny hole, but you get the idea. Put it in there. This was 10. I'll make it 11 so that I can see where it is there. Hold, control C, control V. Yeah, something like that. Control C, control V. When something like that happens, just use the control Z to go one step back. And another time, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Oh, there's my other one. I'm selecting the other one. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Something like this. You get the idea. You can also make some uh, some some holes in it. Air vents. Also select that. And there you have your box. You can of course lift it higher and then move it around. So if you like this content so far, hit the thumbs up. If there is something not quite right, then please leave a comments below. Thank you. Also you can make on this side, you can also make some, some holes to, uh, to let your electrical wire Go through and as you can see it's not that difficult it's easy to use it's a user-friendly uh, kind of uh, program used on your uh, web browser and as you can see it's pretty easy to use next time we are going to make this into a g-code file using our slicing software the last thing that you need to do is um, well this we cannot stream 3d print like that so i'm going to change the cover like that and we are going to move it back to the original place like that like that if you for some reason want to make some air fans in it's not that difficult you take the cylinder form uh let's make it into So as you can see, this is an easy to use 3D cut software that is for free and easy to use. When you are looking for some models, you are within Thinkercad, 
at the right place. That being said, let's wrap up this video. So that was it for today's video. This was a how to make your own 3D model using Tinkercad. It's a, like I mentioned, it's an easy to use, user-friendly web-based interface. And well, you can make great things with this Tinkercad. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you next time and keep it up with your 3D printing. Happy 3D printing, Sakuri 3D prints. Bye-bye.